The semi-finals are here. It's the WTA semi-final preview for Ash Barty versus Madison Keys, Australian Open 2022. Mm-hmm. Right. The world number one versus the well, world number 51 in Madison Keys. It's going to be a very interesting matchup, to be honest with you. So before we get into it, and what we are going to get into is, of course, the route to the semi-finals for both players. We're going to look at... Uh, well, the matchups between the two. So, how do the styles gel? Uh, what type of tactics will each player potentially use? What does each bring to the table? And ha- what type of weaknesses as well could be exploited? On top of giving my prediction, of course, because that's what everyone's looking forward to. Right. Before we get into that, though, please do remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for more content like this. And we will be doing a live stream for this match of course so live commentary and a watch along so you can get involved in that in the chat and should be good fun let's get into this then so if we go to the head to head uh when i mean head to head i mean the route to the semi-final uh so we would have talked about it before barty beating serenko in straight sets then beating bronzenti in straight straight sets georgie and then it's over as well uh, she recently faced Pagula. That was a really, really impressive performance again from Ash Barty. She just absolutely blew away Pagula. Uh, and in the end, it was a absolutely ridiculously good um, match. 6-2, 6 love. Just a very comprehensive performance and uh, very exciting stuff for sure. For well, for Madison Keys, a very different path to uh, the semifinals. Uh, she has had... An interesting run, but beating a couple of fantastic players on the way. Uh, she beat Sofia Kinnan in the first round, the former Grand Slam champion. Christian in straight sets as well. Wong is the only player she's lost a set to. And then Bedosa and Krychikova. So Bedosa, a very informed player. And Krychikova, of course, winning the French Open last year. So beating two Grand Slam champions on her way to the semifinals for Barty. She's had a slightly easier run, uh, to be fair, uh, with Georgie and Anisimova. Bagula is obviously a good hardcore player but not anyone of real threat to her you would say obviously Osaka was potentially going to play in the fourth round but that didn't happen and this over is dangerous but you would expect her to get through that uh, in terms of um, how they played I mean she had one sole break point opportunity that she had to save against Pagula she bageled her obviously 626 love in the end <sighs> Matchups and styles. So we know what Barty's about. She's got a fantastic serve, uh, really hits her spots. She has a very complete game. She's good at the net. She has a very varied and dangerous forehand. She's able to hit it flat, able to hit with huge topspin, able to slice on the forehand if she wants as well. She utilizes it and uses it at the right time. She doesn't, it's not overkill. She won't, for example, uh, use uh, the slice forehand or hit. A uh, you know a, a Rafa Nadal esque forehand at times when she can, for example, hit a more driven, flatter forehand. She knows when to utilize the different types of forehands that she has at her disposal. On top of also being able to be very solid on the backhand side, utilizing a very, very potent backhand slice, uh, which can be used defensively and also in an attacking man, which I discussed in the course final preview. Something that uh, is so hard to combat a lot of people and a lot of players uh, expect it to be more floated or maybe less uh, a bit shorter or less pace on it she doesn't she really goes through the ball and uh, it whizzes off the surface especially on a surface like this at the Australian Open it has huge huge effect and it's very very uh, potent on this surface it's such a quick surface Australian Open and arguably the quickest surface uh, maybe even quicker than Wimbledon uh, given that the parent of the grass has slowed down a little bit uh, of all the grand slams. For Madison Keys, she has a little bit more of a limited game, uh, but power, power, power uh, is definitely a word associated with her game. But what I would like to point out is that she does have aggression in her game, yes, but more, more recently, especially in this recent run, the semi-finals she's had controlled aggression it's been really good to see against Bedosa. i was so impressed with the way that she won that against creature cover as well very impressive win recently and in straight sets she's been serving really well hitting her spots serving 
serving pretty quickly as well. And uh, she is a big server when she's in full flow. In terms of her ground strokes, I was really impressed with her forehand. It's been deadly. Uh, I mean, she's been dictating points with it. And the backhand up the line has been very good as well. So looking great off both wings. Uh, she can come to the net. She's more of a baseline hitter, though. Doesn't tend to come to the net too often. But in terms of her, I guess, other parts of her game, uh, what I would say was really impressive to me and has been throughout the whole tournament is her returning. Uh, she's pounced on any poor second serves from uh, from the opponent and she's made them pay. Uh, she's made a lot of returns, been good and sharp in that aspect. And she'll need to be against Barty, who likes to hit her spots. Isn't necessarily the biggest server, but is a very effective server. Uh, has different variations on the server as well. Doesn't just hit a flat serve or just a topspin serve or a slice serve. She has all the different variations and that's what makes Ash Barty so good. She's an extremely versatile player. And there's a reason why she's won her first two grand slams on different surfaces on grass and then on clay and then grass. And now has made the semi-final. She's a favorite here. She has a game for all surfaces. Uh, so she is that type of player. For Keys, though, this surface is definitely suited to her game. She is capable of blowing Barty off the court with her ground strokes and hitting her off the court. She'll need to keep the unforced error count low, of course. And that's where the controlled aggression comes in. In fact, it'll be interesting to see what her winner to unforced error ratio was in the most recent match. She won that 6 3 6 2. You see that 11 aces, 72% first set percentage as well. Really, really good. 77% of first serve points won, 33% on the second serve. So something to work on. But 27 winnings to 21 on four serves is pretty damn good. Uh, and then in terms of break points as well. Um, yeah, I mean, look, good. Return points won, 52%, which is really good from uh, Madison Keys. And she's a very, very good player. She's in fantastic form. I'm very much looking forward to seeing how she uh, how she goes about her work. But uh, against Bedosa as well, I think she had a very good... Um, she had a really, really good day out, I thought. Uh, Madison Keys, yeah. 26 winners to 18 unforced errors. So that was an extremely, extremely good uh, day out for sure. So, yeah. Let's see how she goes. And I think it will be an intriguing matchup. In terms of my prediction, it's very hard to go against the home favourite and the world number one, Ash Barty. Uh, she did lose at the quarterfinal stage um, last year. She's now gone one further. She's gone to the semifinals, and the expectation continues to rise. She is most definitely the strong favorite now, uh, given who's left in the draw. <sighs> I wouldn't actually be surprised if Keys causes the upset, but I'm going to go with Barty. But Barty in three sets... I think they're going to be close. I think she's going to have some hairy moments, as will Keys. Uh, I think it's going to be who plays the bigger points better. Uh, I think Keys is in really good form, so I don't think it's going to be a ridiculously dominant display from Barty like we've seen in every single round so far from her. But in saying that, she might very well prove me wrong. She's that good a player. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Please remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you tomorrow for the live stream and commentary for Barty versus Keith.